I can tell you that in the 2018-2019 school year, our team assessed about 322,000. Think about that, that's a really huge number, 322,000 student immunization records. And based on this assessment, I can tell you that 94% of our 7 to 17 year olds in our school systems here in Toronto were up to date for measles, mumps and rubella vaccination. And that about 1.7%, so just under 2% of the students in our system uh, indicated that they had a philosophical or religious exemption and applied as such. In Toronto, we've seen a slow but steady increase in student vaccine non-medical exemptions from 0.8% in 2016 to 1.7% this year. This trend is not unique to Toronto. It's something that in fact has been seen throughout the province as a whole. So to my mind, what does this mean? It means that we need to start having an evidence-informed conversation on this important issue. At what point, at what point will this increasing rate of exemptions lead to an increasing number of unimmunized people and therefore lead to outbreaks? And at what point would we as a system, both as public health providers and in concert with our healthcare system, at what point would we together need to act? We need to start with this conversation now so that we don't find ourselves in a situation with several outbreaks that cause severe illness in children and contribute to added strain and ultimately cost to our healthcare system as a whole.